Welcome! Welcome, my friends, to MK Mobile. We now have got ourselves three towers. The Nightmare Tower is back. And surprisingly, I'm actually very surprised. The, the Nightmare Tower is back, not for one, two weeks. It's back for 36 days. And I can guarantee you, as soon as this tower expires, we're gonna have a next update. I mean, I'm hope- no, actually, maybe we're gonna have another tower repeat. That's very likely. But we now have three towers in the game, and that means if you are refreshing the towers to the max, you're gonna have to spend 300 souls a day for just refreshing. I'm not really refreshing. I don't know if I'm gonna refresh the Nightmare Tower. It's a fatal one. I might actually be able to complete it in my beginner account, but... It doesn't say it's fatal, but it is fatal, because we only had fatal towers back then, so they didn't redo the tower in any way. And I'm kind of excited about the reward, because in my main account, I need as many Freddies and Leatherfaces as possible. And uh, Jason, I hope I don't get a single Jason, but knowing my luck, I probably will. Also, there are some pretty good pieces of gear in here, like Killer Jacket is incredible. Absolutely. Shield after suffering lethal blow. Uh, and the start of the match, that could be very helpful in survival, one of the better survival armors in the game. Uh, Thunderlord Stormweaver is also pretty good uh, piece of gear, for Raiden especially, like those those lightnings, especially if you combine it with Soaked, and you get some bars of starting power. Uh, so it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. I, what I'm not happy about is that it's an old reward system, so that basically means that we get... Uh, Random nightmare, uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. There is nothing. There is nothing like. There is not those new t kinds of rewards where we get like guaranteed rare from uh, 160, for example. That doesn't happen anymore. So you're you're not getting any like guaranteed rares, which is sad. We we could still get some drops, and drop rates are probably going to be lower as well. We'll see about that. Uh, ninth Mia Tower main reward, so we get a piece of gear and a diamond, which is good, because these cards are so hard to get, I'm glad I'll be able to complete it a couple times and hopefully get a few fusions on my Freddy and Leatherface. Uh, pretty good, pretty good, I'm, I'm pretty happy about it, and I'm surprised for how long they actually edited it, so, uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Let's see what people have to say real quick about this new development. <laughs> how do I beat Classic Tower 175? Come on, man! Oh, wow. This is a very positive comment. Thank you, Diddy. We need a discount on refresh souls for tower and more souls from tower and daily videos for a month because with three towers and the discount packs, many of us don't have enough souls to spend. Well, I agree, but you know you, you can play the towers without refreshing them, right? That's another feature they use to drain souls. And in my opinion, you could, you could grind 600 souls per day no, actually you can't. I don't I don't think you can to be honest. <laughs> Even if you do one hour quests, it's like twenty-seven hours twenty-seven quests an hour uh, souls an hour. If you do it for even if you do it for sixteen hours, it's still not gonna be enough to cover six hundred souls. Plus maybe some souls from videos, from challenges. Maybe if you're like grinding like a maniac every day you would be able to get six hundred souls a day. But honestly, probably you should choose one or two towers where you're gonna spend souls and the last one you just don't spend souls. In my opinion, maybe, like, most of the people won't be able to beat Fatal Classic Tower because it's insane, so maybe don't spend souls in Fatal Classic Tower, but spend them in regular Classic Tower because the rewards are actually pretty good, and in Nightmare Tower. That would be my suggestion for most people. You can learn, you can er earn at least 400 souls a day unless you're doing something wrong. You can. I would I wouldn't say at least 400 souls is a pretty decent grind, but 400 is not enough anymore. We now we now need 600. This would be a very short video if I just uh, made an announcement about the Nightmare Tower. So we're gonna include I'm gonna include a clip in the end of this video th from my live stream, where I pulled one of the best diamonds in the game during the anniversary week. I was opening discounted packs and I was looking for an opportunity to to include that clip in some video because it's a pretty short clip. And this video is perfect. The, like, the first half of the video is short, so it needs some more to make it worth it watching. And I think the clip you're about to see is gonna make it very, very worth it. I was... My mind was blown how lucky I got, so... I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments what do you think about uh, the three towers in the game. First time this ever happened. Ridiculous. And enjoy the clip. 
Welcome, my friends. It's been a while since I opened packs on my own account. Well, today is the day. We have some discounted packs for the anniversary. And I probably could get... Maybe maybe they're gonna have a classic pack with classic looking. But honestly, I don't care. I had... I've got everybody I wanted. I got him Kill and Scorpion. I got classic looking. Now I want to get Strike Force Scorpion. And this pack is my best bet to get him. So I'm gonna spend all my souls on this bad boy. Let's go. Pack number one. If we get Strike Force Scorpion today during this beautiful live stream, 10,000 star coins. Easy peasy. Come on. Wait, I just noticed something. There is no limit for this pack. Seriously? Holy crap. Pack without limit, guys. There must be feeling very generous. That is sick. What a start. Anyway, we, we can get some free, uh, I mean, cheap challenge cards as well because it's less than challenge pack for the price. I think, I think I'll be able to get some more souls by the end of the stream to open one more. I just want to get it. I, I wouldn't be mad if I get Strike Force Johnny either, to be honest. Oh my god, what's going on? <sighs> Fine, we maxed out Dark Raiden. Number three! Number three maxed out gold card in my account. Beautiful. I'll take it. Okay, two more packs left for now. Come on, don't disappoint me, game. Don't disappoint me, game. What free diamond did you get? I got him Kill and Raiden on my beginner accounts. And I got Fujin on my main account. Alright, let's do this. Scorpion! Oh boy. I know it's only 9% chance, but you know what? You live only once. Let's get it. Let's get it. Is this pack worth it? If you want to get Strike Force team, then yeah, it's your best bet. And I do want to get the Strike Force Scorpion or Johnny. I'll take either. Just no Cassie, please. No Cassie. Cassie is okay if you have the rest of them, but if she if she's the only Strike Force character that you have, it's painful. Please, my last chance. Strike Force baby, come to me. Please. Please. That's yeah. what's worth it. I knew it. I knew it. This is the best day ever. Holy crap. I, I told you. Everybody in the chat who told me. No, don't do it. You, you're not going to get any diamonds. Jokes on you. Let's go. Holy crap. That was so worth it. Let's go. Now I literally have every single card I want on my beginner account. So now... All that's left to do is to delete it. While to, to quit while I'm ahead. No, just kidding. I still want I still want to get a couple a couple cards and maybe get a couple of fusions on it. On the last pack. What a freaking save. My god. Guys. Imagine two strike for scorpions live. That would be the most insane thing you've ever seen, right? Well feast your eyes on this. Okay. That would be that would be epic though if it happened, right? I would be like that would be the most insane moment in, in MK Mobile history.